Saturday afternoons, there's Wrestling Day on TV. Everybody who had a television set, four o'clock, wrestling. In the golden days of wrestling, everybody was looking for a bit of fun. And they asked me so many years ago if I would be a referee at a charity match. And I said, no, won't be a referee, but I'll fight. And they said, you'll get killed. And I said, no, because you can train me up. <laughs> so I did my first fight, which I lost in a spectacular manner, to uh, a gentleman who was a welterweight champion of the world, gentleman Jim Lewis, who had uh, a temper as long as his thumbnail. And <laughs> I fought it five times to give me five good idings. Lewis is very angry. Oh! Vicious, vicious. Oh! A sickening rabbit on the referee's belt. In come the, in come the seconds. No, oh, they're killing him. They're killing him. Why, oh, the whole place is murder. And it was my proud claim that I lost my first 35 fights. Mr. Savile, Mr. Savile, are you enjoying yourself? Mr. Savile, Mr. Savile. I'm not entirely sure why they were so popular, but they were ginormously popular. I mean, I was a pop star uh, at that time, and I know the difference between being popular and not popular, and these guys had a special niche in the in the love of the public and the public sort of loved them even if they hated them they still loved them it wasn't showbiz it wasn't uh, the pop business or anything like that wrestling was on a special mountain all of its own and it was a peak of its time i was getting a good hide in, in sheffield one time and suddenly i got quite a pain in my thigh and i looked around and there's a lady wielding an umbrella with the metal spike at the bottom of it and she'd prodded me and I said, ooh, what was that for, love? And she says, no, not you, Jimmy, him, him. <laughs> Which I think was stupid because they had this amazing thing going where the people loved it, the fighters loved it, the, uh, the, the, the TV figures were enormous and I think they should have just left it alone.